back to my channel. Hey, uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, Shelly Bloom on some coasters. Um, <laughs> you can see my face is all red. I was out riding today and got a little sunburnt on my face. So, um, yeah, I've got uh, several colors that I'm using. I'm using some Master's Touch. Um, I've got Light Magenta, uh, Viridian, Cobalt Blue on the Master's Touch. Um, I've got a premix that I made myself. And uh, I've also got a little bit of uh, crimson hue mixed with uh, Liquitex Violet. And all of my um, colors are mixed with uh, the iridescent medium. So I wanted to give them a little bit of a shimmer. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you down here. we got our coaster here and these are just little 4x4 uh, coasters that you can pick up at your Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. Okay we're going to start off with our pillow paint. Now the pillow paint is the paint that uh, you put on your surface so the other colors will slide on them. Uh, my pillow paint is uh, the uh, Valspar 2000 High Hide Interior Paint Plus Primer. Okay, let's give this a little bit of a spin. Stretch that out a little bit. Okay. not take a lot of paint um, your colored paint does not take a lot of your colored paints on here to uh, move it around and everything so excuse me a second turn everything down get notifications we got that uh, five artists collaboration coming up this Sunday I uh, hope you guys join and uh, and, t and take a look at those other artists that uh, we have in this five artist collaboration. We've got Yancey Artistry. We have got um, Colorful Creations by Sarah. Um, <clears throat> We have uh, Brian's Upper Valley Artistry, uh, myself, Dave's Acrylic Pouring, and we have uh, Lori uh, with, I'm drawing a blank up, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'll get back with that in just a second. these colors on here you want to let them sit for just a second and let it kind of spread out a little bit you don't want to uh, immediately put your cell activator on and start blowing it down like that because you want it to spread out just a little bit it's actually not quite in the center This cell activator is uh, one part um, of the Amsterdam's um, titanium white, uh, three parts Floetrol, um, uh, about six drops of the uh, Minwax, the um, pre-stained wood conditioner. Right 
right there in the middle. And now what we do is we're going to blow it out in different directions. Okay, now you want to let that sit for just a second because you want that pillow paint to scoop back up underneath there. Because what you've done right here in the center is you've actually created a divot and paint will flow back into it. So you just want to give it a second. spin, we'll stretch it out. Back the other way. Pretty cool looking. I like that one. Got good cells. More spin. Oh yeah. There we go. Put that the other way. Fantastic. I like that. Looks really good. Let's come in for a little bit of a closer look. You can really see those cells and that lacing. All right. There's my ceiling. <laughs> I like that. So let's slide this one off. throw down another one and I actually have some uh, Mars black cell activator I think I'm gonna try that on this one so let's do again turn the center get our pillow paint Stretch it out. Torch, torch, torch. Get those bubbles out of there. All right. Doing these in a different order this time. See, it doesn't take a whole lot to cover these tiles, so you just don't want to go overboard with 
pouring a whole bunch of paint on there. Spread out a little bit. Get it back to the center. Okay. Let's go with the Mars Black. Now this Mars Black is from Golden. Um, it's uh, a little bit different than the uh, Amsterdam White. But Come back in to let that settle down. Okay, here we go. A little spinneroony action. Pretty darn good. I like the black, I think, better. That's a really good lacing. This one turned out more uh, more of the uh, cobalt blue and the, uh, the lavender that I had there. I think I lost a lot of the other colors there. Pretty cool how the... Uh, cells are popping up as the Mars black is sinking because of the paint density causes it to sink through the paint and it just leaves that um, basically that the, just the, the edge right there of where it had gone down pretty cool all right fantastic let's bring you down for a closer look I think I like it just where it is Look at that lacing. You <laughs> got some lacing over here on the side on my uh, on my lazy Susan here. That is pretty cool. I might scrape that up and put that on my next tile. All right. Fantastic. All right. Let's. Get this one up and put this one up here. Let's do another. Set that pillow paint down. Whoa. 
some tea on there. How about that? Some lavender. All right. Let's try something a little bit different here. Let's do this. See what this is gonna create. I'm gonna use both. White and black. Give her that spin around. Give me my cells back. Just something to do. <laughs> something just a little bit different.
sounds interesting. A little bit more here. Look at this one. Good cells there on the bottom. A little bit of wrecking damage. Oops. Lost it, sorry. Oops. I didn't do my uh, straining on this one. That's my cardinal rule. I broke it. This is the only spin class that I want to get involved with. There 
There it goes. Now it's slinging. Coming in down for a closer look. Really like how this one turned out. Good lacing. Go, go, go. Look at these other ones. They're really coming into their own. Sure are some nice looking coasters. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this without getting pain on my camera and I just keep losing losing grip on it. My fault. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, Shelly Blooms, they're great, they're fun. Um, just get your uh, proper um, recipe down your pillow paint your your medium um, has to be right and then your colors um, and it's really simple once you get that done and they turn out great but hey thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, subscribe to the channel if you, if you haven't already and remember pour on